Welcome to another episode of Tech Tips Tuesday, where we teach you one business technical skill every Tuesday. Hope you enjoy. Okay, today we're going to be talking about the uh, Microsoft ALPS, which stands for the ArcLight phone system, which is the whole system that we sell to our clients, configure, and deploy. But one piece of that is the 3CX software. That's the underpinning that runs our phone system. So we're going to talk about the 3CX web client, or we also call it the ALPS web client. And so on my screen, you see here, this is the login to the web client. You're always, you're always going to see 3CX branding. They don't allow us to change that everywhere. We change it where we can because uh, it can be a little confusing to our clients of uh, what they actually pay for or pay for on a monthly basis. So first thing we have to do is we log in. We put in our extension. And we put in our password. And then once we're logged in, you'll see a screen like this. This first splash screen that you'll see will be all of the users within your organization that are uh, on your phone system. And I'm not going to go into this We're going to, right now. We're going to get into this later. What I'm going to start with, we're going to do a top-down run through this whole software suite. Now, it all runs through your browser. The browser I'm using is Brave Browser. It could be Chrome, could be Edge, could be Firefox. doesn't really matter. But I'm using Brave, which is based on the Chrome browser. Um, so at the top, I'm going to just cover the toolbar today. We're going to be very simple. So from left to right, you see the 3CX logo there. There's a three-bar menu that allows you to hide or show the left menu. We're going to leave it hidden. So this is it right here. I'm going to hide it. And then I'm going to go on over here from the search box. You can search for just about anything in this portal that you might want to find. Phone numbers, contacts, you name it. And then this next to this, this is a dial pad. And this dial pad will allow you to dial people directly from the browser. Now, the way that works is a couple of different ways. It can dial your desk phone and make your desk phone call someone directly. It can use the soft phone that's you know, an, a, on your cell phone and dial. So what happens when you use either of those is those devices start ringing when you've selected them. And then you pick it up, answer it, and you'll hear the phone ringing. It's calling someone. If you don't answer it, it'll go straight to speakerphone. It works really well. So <clears throat> the other thing, the third way that you can call people is directly through your browser. If you've got a Bluetooth headset like this one or a wired USB headset connected to your computer, you can dial directly through the browser. And it works pretty well. I use it pretty regularly in the office here. The only thing I would say is you can occasionally get a little voice delay because of the way the, the communication through the Bluetooth and the desk phone works. And it's on a case-by-case -case basis. I've seen it happen sometimes, not on others. So just be aware of that. All right. So. How do you know which phone it's going to dial when you click this little dial pad here? Well, that's determined over here. So this is where it lists all the phones that you have access to. Now, think of it, when I say phones, you have one number or one extension, okay? So that one number is can be tied to multiple devices. You can have a soft phone app on your phone, which I have here. So, uh, so this is 3CX on my iPhone. And you can have it on a desk phone, a physical desk phone. You can have it on this browser. This browser itself can work like a phone. Just like I said, if you've got a Bluetooth headset, there's a installable phone that can run on your computer. So lots of different phones that will work with the system. So you choose the one that you want to be your primary phone. By default, it's going to be your desk phone. So the desk phone is your primary phone. So if I use this dial pad to call someone, it's going to ring through the desk phone to that person, and that's how I'm going to have my conversation. But if I want to, if I want to use the soft phone for everything, then I can use the one, the 3CX client, which is the installed software we're not looking at right now. That's another video series. I can use my smartphone. This is my smartphone, so I can make this my default to ring or to, to call out. And I can use the browser extension. Now, the browser extension, when you go to set this up, you're going to see over here a little thing saying install the browser extension. We would advise that you do that. When you, when you do that, then it gives you this little app. It's a web app is what it is. It actually runs inside your browser, even though it looks like it's an independent application. And so this web app gives you all the features from your desk phone, and it makes them a little more accessible and easier to use than having to go to your desk phone. So you can do all kinds of stuff from here, and it ties directly to this app. Now, this app, in my opinion, should be up on every employee's desktop. Now, when I say up, you can open it in the browser and minimize it, keep it in the background if you want, but it's really quick and easy to see presence and what's going on in your network and listen to your voicemail message and see your call recordings a lot quicker than going to your desk phone. All right, so we talked about the, the dialer and which phone it's going to call out of. Now let's talk about your presence. So presence by default is pretty generic. You've got your available, your away, 
uh, your forward voicemail, do not disturb. Those are kind of the basics. We customized ours, and so we have available set up so that when I say I'm available, I only want it to ring my desk phone. That means I'm available sitting in the office behind my desk, and I don't want all my devices ringing at once. So if you don't have that set up, then if you have all these different phone software set up, then your phone's going to probably ring unless you've got it on mute. Your desk phone's going to ring. Your soft phone on your computer is going to ring, and on and on it goes. If you've got a tablet and it's got the software, it's going to ring. So we set it up so it only rings the desk phone when I'm available. If I'm away, it's not going to ring any phones. I'm out. It's going to just go straight to voicemail, and it's going to have my holiday message. I'm sorry I'm out. It's a holiday, so on. Do not disturb. Not going to ring any phones. It's just going to go straight to voicemail. Ring all phones means that I am out of the office, but I want someone to be able to get a hold of me any way that they possibly can. So I want my cell phone's app to ring. I want my desk phone to ring, and I want my computer phone to ring. And that could be the same one that's on my laptop. So I can have multiple phones. I can literally have 50 desk phones assigned to my phone number. And all 50 of those will ring, and so or my extension. So it, there's a lot of flexibility there, and just you need to dream it up what you want it to do, and we can pretty much do it with this system. Very powerful. And then you can set your status temporarily. So if you click temporarily, it's going to ask you, you know, what status do you want to be in, how long you want to be there, and what is the set status message that you want to show up. Super easy to do. And then lastly, if you click on your own profile, uh, hopefully you've populated this. You need to load an image so that everyone can see your picture whenever they go to this system. It's really great when you have employees come and go to be able to know who's who. They, you say, go talk to Tiffany. Someone can just go in here, find Tiffany in the phone system, see her picture and go, okay, I see who Tiffany is. Now I know what she looks like. It's going to be easier to find them. makes managing your internal staff a lot easier. And then you can change your password from here, change your profile image, like I just said, resend credentials. So if you lose your password or, or lose access to something, you can resend your credentials. Download the 3CX app. We're not really recommending the 3CX app much anymore unless you have a call center you need to manage through like drag and drop interface or for a receptionist. That's about the only time we're really recommending those because you can do most of those things now in the web app. That's the direction that the company that makes this software is going. Then you can scan a QR code. So the QR code, if I click on it, that is the QR code that you use to get connected to your system. So you install the 3CX app on your phone or whatever device. You take your camera, you scan it, and it will automatically configure your phone for you. Very easy, very powerful. And then the install the app for the phones, install 3CX extension. Again, the 3CX extension, when you install that, which it's already installed here, that's when it gives you that dialer that we talked about, this right here. And this is fantastic, works really well. And you can exit the client. That's pretty much it. That's the toolbar. Just wanted to run through that with you guys, give you a quick rundown. We're going to start stepping through on our next videos all the different things that you can do through the phone system in detail. I hope you enjoyed this episode of Tech Tip Tuesday. Stay tuned. We're going to have another episode every Tuesday where we teach you a new business technical skill that will allow you to improve efficiency and create productivity within your organization. Thank you. Have a great rest of your week.